So the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup. Like the car chip. Why? Yeah, it beats me. It probably meant something to them. As it does to my people. And the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That it does. Hey, look who's back. You find what you're looking for? I did. One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if I have a go at it? Really? Uh, sure. Now let's do it. Let's do this.
my turn. Your turn. Overcharging. Hmm. Bold. should I do? There it goes. I'm done. Okay, I can do this. And they're gone. Off the board they go. Let's see. Looks like I'm in the lead. All yours.
Had to make a move. I win! But I'm sure you'll get me next time. Into the forge we go. What should I do? Let's see what you got. Let's see. And it's out. Your turn. My turn. That one's a goner. I'm done.
Off the board they go. Okay, I can do this. Looks like I got lucky. You want a rematch? Back to business then. I better get going. All right. I'll be here uh, if you need me. Aloy, you found another one of Gaia's subfunctions? Two down, one to go. I'm glad her healing can continue. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. I better get going. Right. You've got that subfunction to deliver. Yeah? How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new... So I hear. I'm about how... How did... From the... Yeah. Just... I should go. Yeah, come back if you need me. Visions. Incredible. Hey. Aloy. I hope all is well enough. Under the circumstances. I'm holding up. Good. Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. I should get going. 
Back to my training, then. Locked. Well, I guess we could have once her privacy for now. I wonder if Arl's in there with her. Covered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Got it. Hey, Gaia. Me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Where shall we resume? So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene to allow him to process this on his own terms. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. 
From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. So the Zeniths are the same people who physically immortal. From what we know of Far Zenith, an engineer in exchange give like ex I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. There. Let's see what we got. Error. Drone offline. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Error. Data missing. Error. Data missing. Hey, Gaia. I it's like me. this one. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. To observe whether it may be possible should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. I'll keep a lookout. I'll be off. Farewell, for now. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? I don't think that door had power before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Looks like some kind of maintenance space. Huh. 
did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors, and promised I'd meet them someday, when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me, in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave.
You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I... I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Hephaestus. He's like, uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Yeah. Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down at that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay, uh, what, what can I do for you? It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Catalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, uh, sure. Tanakh. Sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell... ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. 
That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. Hey, got a sec? Of course. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was, and sent the Eclipse after me. He sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now... I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the Proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see, and like you've done here, for us. Ma that sounds... crowded, but nice. The Zenith did a number on Beta. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals, old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth, to doom the life that would bloom in their place, it's despicable. 
Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. I should get going. Good luck on your search. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. What do you think of this place? It's an efficient center of operations, and but we could use some more color. Duly noted. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as salve-brush. You get used to it, eventually. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. Oh, huh. the door's unlocked now. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars had turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. According to this console, there are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. It has been difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her, that the one called Tilda abandoned her, but I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just. I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. Perfect. 